During one of the wettest weeks of the year, the team at Autospray Systems thought they'd take the opportunity to evaluate how the R150 autonomous robot coped in a typical British field in the middle of winter. The spray tank was filled with 100 litres, fresh batteries dropped in, and a 3 metre wide grid spray pattern programmed ready to go. Jonathan Gill, robotic engineer and leading agricultural mechatronics researcher at Harper Adams University, had just the right field and invited us to use the hallowed hands-free hectare. For those of you that don't know the hands-free hectare, it's one of the best known fields in the UK and the centre for much of Harper Adams' autonomous agricultural research. The soil type is Soilscape 18, which is typical of 20% of the UK and described as slowly permeable, seasonally wet, slightly acid, rich loamy clay soil. And on the day we were testing, it was certainly seasonally wet. The assembled team were keen to see how the R150 coped with the standing water and boggy conditions and wondered how this would affect the steering accuracy. As the aerial views show, each run was perfectly straight with the RTK navigation correcting for any wheel slippage. All the farming specialists watching agreed that in these wet conditions, a conventional tractor could not be used on the field as it would cause too much damage. But weighing in at only 200 kilos empty and 300 kilos fully loaded, the R150 barely left a mark. This real-world trial proved that the R150 copes perfectly with typical British winter conditions. Its RTK steering wasn't thrown by the slippery mud and it covered over 3.4 kilometers between battery changes, giving it the capacity to cover up to 4 hectares per hour even in this demanding environment. If you're looking for a multifunction, autonomous agricultural system that's ready for the real world, find out more at autospraysystems.com.